Did that just create a new video? Yep. What happened to the old video? Okay, let's it's try. saved. Let's try this, Julia. Let's. Okay, so if we know that that's going to be one over point eight, and if we plug in, that's going to be point eight minus point two is point six. Point six is going to equal. What's point six going? Point six over point eight. Hold on. Now let's plug in one. Okay. Because if we plug in one, we should get out one, right? So if we plug in one, we plug in one into f of x, we return one. So one. One over point eight, given that c is equal to point two, then that's going to be f of x. So one minus point two is point eight. Point eight over point eight is one. We have it. Yes, we have it. I think. Now okay. let's make a table. Make sure we have it. All right, give me a an eraser. It's over there. Hold on a second. I'm configuring the camera. Here we go. Problem solved. Yay. Oh yeah, well then try to take it out. So negative point two, that's gonna be negative point four. But hold on, hold on. Hold on, Julia. Yeah, that's, you see what I'm saying? Uh yeah. It's, it's gonna be you forgot if it's if it's negative, it's gonna be plus. Oh, uh, I forgot the second part of the function. This is a two part function. Well, I know what the first part of the function is. What's the second first part of the function? It's if x is less than Oh crap, I re erased it. You use f of x. Are you going to use f of x for that or g of x? This doesn't matter. Okay, let's use... Oh, I, I have f of x plugged in right here. Okay, let's just use g of x then. Okay, so x is going to be the real axis value. No, plug it in, by, erase uh, x over there, and plug in, replace x and put g of x. Use yeah. the eraser. No, give me your shelf mode. I already called him. He's not picking up. Okay, yeah, and for every one of those x's, put g of x. Okay. No, that's actually X. Yeah, that's going to be X. Okay. So, what this is saying is plug in X, 
So plug in x into g of x first, so this can go filter it. So negative 0.2, plug in here. So if it's negative 0.2, so take the absolute value. Yeah, if it's, yeah. Well, yeah, in this case, um, 0.2. Um, uh, yeah, given that c is equal to 0.2. Okay. Yeah, point 0.2. So absolute value of point 0.2 is 0. If it's less than or equal to 0, return 0. So 0. Um, minus uh, C. Hold on. And I'm not sure how to rewrite this equation, but let's just say that if this returns zero, actually it is going to be a piecewise function. This one is going to also be a piecewise function. So this is going to say f of g of x is equal to return zero if of x is equal to 0, otherwise return 1 over 1 minus c times x minus c, given that g of x is not 0. So if g of x returns 0, which in this case, if given that x is 0.2, so 0.2 minus 0.2 is equal to 0, so, and if it returns 0, then returns 0. Now, let's, so then that's going to be zero. And if for point two, it's going to be the same thing. Are you sure about that? Yeah, okay, so yeah. that's fine. Now, let's go to point four, negative point four. So yeah, we'll try negative point four. Yeah, so negative point four, absolute so value point, point four, four minus point two is point two. Okay. And that's greater than zero, so that's going to return point four. So we're going to return point 0.4 into this. What about negative point 0.4? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, negative point 0.4. All right, let's plug point 0.4 in first, see if that works. But then we'll plug in negative point 0.4, and then we're going to have to okay. work out something else with that. Yeah. OK, go ahead. Negative, yeah, negative point 0.4. Or yeah, point 0.4. So point 0.4 minus point 0.2, and that's equal to point 0.2 times 1 over point 0.8. And that'll be, that's what, 2 over 10 times 10 over 8. Uh, yeah. So that's going to be 2 over 8. That's going to be 0.25. So we're cutting that. All right, now let's plug in negative. All right, so then if we do negative 0.4, we do negative um, mm. 0.4 minus. So it's negative. It's going to be 0.6. No. Over. Okay, so we're going to have to do. It's going to have to be a triple piece of function, because we're going to have to do it. <laughs>